There are three steps. First, back up all current presets. Secondly, add and activate new presets. And lastly, load Nicolite settings to the new preset. Before you proceed, make sure you move the carriage height to the high position. Load the Nicolite crystal grade media and you can choose any preset. Step 1, back up all current presets. If you mistakenly delete existing media settings, it will be a tragedy. So this will help you get it back if you need to. At Media Preset tab in CP Manager, click the icon to save all existing media presets to the computer. You can type in any file name that's easy to remember. It is recommended that you put the date in the information for the file. Then click Save. Now you have succeeded to back up. You can recall at any time if you click this icon, select the Save INI file, and click Open. Step 2 Add and Activate New Preset. Go to the preset numbers and pull down and use an unactivated number. For example, it comes default with 6, choose number 7, where there's no name. Check the box for activate. Also check the box change to current. Then click the update icon. Now currently number 7 preset is selected on the printer. In the next step, we will overwrite settings information on the current preset. Step 3. Load Nicolite settings to the new preset. Click this icon. Select provided CP Manager Nicolite preset INI file and click open. Now all settings for Nicolite Media are loaded on current preset. Heater setting, extra ionizer activation, loose take up mode, high suction fan level. Remember that the name of the preset for the traffic is NICA, N I K K A. Then click update button. Don't forget to go to the Media Advanced tab. Adjust the Media Advanced for Standard Mode manually. I recommend to start the adjustment at 100.50%. When you complete the adjustment, you are ready to print.